we are talking about satellite sensors what is very important is resolution what does the term resolution means then we would understand the type of resolution obviously so what is re resolution resolution is nothing but how detailed imagery can be provided by a satellite is what is resolution so let's say there are two points far off and i can easily detect that these two are points are far off but i bring two objects very close to one another and then ask you whether you can identify they are separate or they are one then you would require a higher resolution to actually see this in more detail so you would just zoom and see this in more detail and see whether they are overlapping they are very close to one another or they are distinctly apart and that is how we understand resolution so this was a simple example of a spectral resolution so when we talk about resolutions the satellite sensors actually help us understand the resolution and there are four types of resolution that we focus on those are spatial radiometric spectral and temporal now what is the difference between these four types of resolution is very very important let's first talk about the most simplest of those and that is a spatial resolution a spatial resolution is nothing but simply put a resolution where i'm trying to identify two objects how far apart they are so let's say there are two buttons as you can see here and they are far apart so i require a really low resolution satellite to identify the distance between the two however when the two buttons are very very close i require a high resolution satellite to identify a high resolution sensor to identify whether they are actually close or apart and this is where we understand spatial what matters is the distance okay the next we come on to is the spectral now spectral is further interesting what we are trying to do is under spectral we are trying to identify the frequency and the sensitivity so let's say if one is blue one is green i would identify this with a low resolution sensor very very easily that one of them is blue in color but the other one of them is green in color but what if i need to identify the shades of red uh, if i put it in very layman language i would say the shades of red so here there is a variation in the shade of red itself and to identify this i definitely need a higher resolution and this is where we focus on spectral resolution so it talks about frequency it talks about sensitivity of the sensors to identify the light the dispersion of the light is something that is taken into account so strong absorption properties of fresh water and a kind of strong reflectance by the dry surface is well explained through the satellite imagery by spectral resolution so higher resolution is required to identify it more precisely now the next one is further interesting which is temporal time matters see when the next dot would come so we have one dot that comes in and the next dot that comes out after a gap so i have a time to identify that two dots have been coming but what if i have one dot that comes into play and the next dot comes up immediately after it so there was no time delay that was very less time delay of 1 second that was seen here but here the time delay was 10 seconds so in this case i require a low resolution sensor however in this case i would require a high resolution sensor in terms of the spectral limits because the time is very very less between the two instances that are seen one by other the next and the last important one is a radiometric resolution radiometric resolution is very very interesting intensity is taken into account so what happens is this is something that i cannot demonstrate it on the screen because on screen all the intensity would look exactly the same so i have to bring in certain model for you now what is done is i have a bright source of light that is there and a less bright source of light which is there now what would be the final imprint that would be seen in both the cases would be different so the resolution in the case of bright light 
would be much finer as compared to less bright light so with increasing uh, resolution the increasing intensity that we would say we would identify the spectral bands very very differently so there is where we use the radiometric resolution and it focuses on intensity so to understand intensity we need to bring in a source of light uh, object through which we could see the reflection on a surface and there where we have a bright source of light versus a less bright source of light we would see the imprint that would be seen and this is what is known as the intensity so radiometric resolutions basically help you understand the intensity now we have the various satellite sensors that are used across the globe some from united states some from india some from france and we see the radiometric range varies so when the radiometric range is smaller that means the amount of intensity that we are seeing is less in compared to the spot hrv where the intensity is very very high and therefore the radiometric range the variations within the gray we would see is very very high and then we also have the spatial resolution in meters which is much finer for spot hrv 2 where we can see much more finer details as compared to the landsat so landsat would give you a 80 meter by 80 meter but if i want to further zoom it it would it won't be clear the pixels would be broken and therefore what i need to do is i need to move into higher resolution so these values have a higher resolution i can since Obviously, these values look with a lower value, but they have a higher resolution in terms of spatial resolution. Why? Because I can see much smaller area, but since I'm seeing a smaller area that is being taken into account here, I can see that more precisely with more detail, with more depth, and therefore the spatial resolution in this case, IRS pan would be much higher than the landsat that we are talking about. So that is how we understand the variation in spatial resolution, radiometric range, and the uh, the four types of resolutions which are commonly talked about in the satellite sensors that are there.